Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to present to you my recent purchases from papagraphlabs.com. She recently had her Black Friday Fantasy vault sale last Friday. I wasn't... I was expecting maybe new products or sales on really sought after products. She just put her minis on sale as well as uh, her Lux Trans lipsticks in addition to her kits that have like the brush and the pigments and also a, a couple of lip bolts. I had to hold back because I mean I know on Pat McGrath everything but I was like ah like I already seen these items but I wanted to grab some more Lux Trans lipsticks and I wanted to swatch those for you today. I also have some footage of me trying on the beige colors that I've already uh, had just so you can see the shade comparisons. Yesterday was a lot sunnier than today so the lighting might be a little different but Hopefully you can see those subtle differences between La Beja, Donatella, and Lost Lust Angeles, which is one of my most recent purchases. If you want to see some swatches, new lipsticks, and comparisons, then please keep on watching. If it's your first time here, my name is Alicia, and welcome to my platform, Kinky Sweat, a place where I combine my love of movement and beauty. Currently, a lot of my movement stuff is on Instagram, and I'm looking to do more movement tutorials on YouTube. If not on YouTube, on my IGTV for sure. I have all my Pat McGrath lipsticks here, as well as my package. I wanted to show this because I am one to definitely criticize size the Pat McGrath Labs packaging situation especially when a lot of you had mentioned that your eyeshadow palettes arrived pulverized and destroyed and kudos to the customer service for replacing those items right away and making it happen but to wait for the new items to arrive it just delays our experience you know what I'm saying? And I wanted to show you because some of you had mentioned that she or the, the fulfillment center is now using the black uh, shreds to kind of cushion the cosmetics better so they don't get hurt. Why am I turning blue? What is this? And even though they're just lipsticks, these are very delicate because I unfortunately dropped my 1995. She broke, I'm still using her, but she's very fragile and I feel these could break also in transit. So thank you Pat McGrath Labs for stepping up your packaging game. I purchased one, two, three, four, five lipsticks in all. I believe that the original price was $38 and I got each of these for 26. The ones I purchased are Lust Angeles, Pink Ultranist, McGrath Muse, sorry not sorry, and Attitude. Let me pull up the shade descriptions from the website because as you know, I am terrible at describing shades. It looks like the private vault sale is still happening, friends. Let's see here. I also have three of her lip liners. A few of her lip liners were also on sale. I have Supernatural, Manhattan, and Contour. So we'll probably use some of those in conjunction with the Lux Trans. I still have my Makeup Forever on standby. My Versatile Chestnut, I have been using nonstop every day. This has just become my ideal brown shade that's not like cork brown, but it's a warmer brown that adds a really nice tone to any nude that I apply. And then I also have the shade Anywhere Caffeine, which is pretty much my lip color, but a little deeper. And it adds a nice frame to the nude if I, if I don't want it to have a darker gradient around my lip. Now, the shade I was most excited for was Lust Angeles. I didn't know Lust Angeles existed. <laughs> she has come out with several shades uh, since her first Lux Trans release and I've just I, I I think because I purposely ignored the fact that she was releasing new shades just so that I wouldn't buy them. Here is the packaging. I mean these boxes are works of art standalone and I have kept my first Pat McGrath matte trans lipstick purchase boxes. They're somewhere in my makeup drawer. I mean I just can't get rid of this box and it's not flimsy either. It is like well constructed and sturdy and when you flip it open you have the ingredient card and then you have a uh, cardboard lining that houses the lipsticks. It's like a little lipstick coffin, you know what I'm saying? Lust Angeles is a brown beige. Now, I was expecting it to come out more brown, but it does appear a little gray on me. So, and I'll, and I'll show you right now. Okay, that's it. I have like my basics on, but I didn't want to apply eyeshadow because after I'm going to do the smoke sessions review, but I feel like the teals and the olives will kind of interfere with the lipstick swatches. So we're going to do bare for the lipstick and then we'll move into the eyeshadows in another video. So here's Los Angeles. I have been using it thus far 
and just so you see this is Los Angeles on its own and you see how it pulls a little gray on me and just so that you see here I apply La Beja which is a lot pinkier and peachier in tone it is considered a warm peach tone beige and it looks very warm in comparison to Lust Angeles. And then I also applied Donatella, which is a beige mauve. It looks very light on me, and I felt that Lust Angeles would kind of give me a more brown tone, but it looks gray, and I'm not sure if that's because of my skin tone, and that's why it's pulling as such, because she has like a gray type of uh, lipstick here. I don't know where it is i think maybe yes is madame grage is a violet based beige and i thought this would be like more of a madame grage but it's it's a brown beige and you've heard me say before i like the topier tones in nude this i have to cocktail a little bit so with that said i want to take versatile chestnut so that added a little bit of warmth to it and i think that's what makes it uh, a little more appealing to me but for the most part in terms of formula the Lux trans it's a formula that envelops and wraps around your lip and I think that's one of the critiques about it is because it does that if you have fine lines or deep lines on your lips they will be accentuated with this formula it is creamy smooth silky the minute you apply this lipstick you feel that plush texture just work right away and i love the texture a lot of people don't again because you have deep lines on your lips they will be accentuated and you will see them because again this product doesn't just lay flat it kind of gets in all those nooks and crannies on your lip because it just kind of travels like that i don't know why that's just the formula and it feels really good when you reapply during the day when you want to get more coverage and your lips are feeling a little dry the minute you apply this it's just a a nice veil of moisture that gets to work on the get-go and i'm just curious you know what even though i have footage of me wearing la beja with my eyeshadow i still want to see how it looks like without any makeup you know what i'm saying someone had commented on my first pat mcgrath lip lust lipstick video that i talk too much yes i do <laughs> I talk quite a lot actually. <laughs> this is La Beja, and I actually lost appreciation for La Beja because when I first applied it, I was like, oh, that's so peachy. But depending on the eye look, I mean, I really love this color. And let's just see how it combines with Lust Angeles. I'm just curious to see like what will happen. Hmm. See, I think when combined with Lust Angeles, it tones it down a little bit, and I think I'm getting more on the spectrum what i want the new to look like not so peachy but not so great either here is los angeles combined with la beja if you want to see what donatella looks like here is donatella and again this is described as a beige mauve this looks ultra pinky on me but again with the right lip liner maybe we can make it happen let's see this is probably one of those where i have to apply the liner first to create that depth on the foundation and then apply a little bit of donatella on the center of the lip so it doesn't look totally washed out but i think the versatile chestnut kind of zhuzhed it up what do you think next up we have attitude and this is a deep brown rose this is what the bullet looks like and roses i love and because it's a brown rose i was like maybe i'll like it this has a little bit of shine on the finish the other ones because i've tried all of these before on camera so i know what's happening this has a touch more shine than i feel the rest of the luxe trans lipsticks that i own lavish for instance which i'm going to swatch after this is a lot more brown in tone but it doesn't have as much shine and i feel the other ones are more distinctly satin and this is like a little satin shiny i like it it's terracotta in nature i think if i had the right eye look or maybe just did a simple wing with mascara perhaps it would highlight the lipstick better on its own by itself i'm looking a little mature i tend to be careful with roses because depending on the rose mauviness on the spectrum it could make me look a little older and i think that's just what roses and mauves do in general for the most part though in terms of formula i it feels gorgeous it glides on beautifully and again the shade i feel i have to pair with the right eye look and maybe the right blush to enhance it a little better i'm actually gonna pair it with the uh, permagel ultra lip pencil in manhattan this is her 
brown lip pencil let's see if we could add a little bit of you know some i think that's a little better it add a little bit of structure i feel it looks like a standalone lip so this is attitude with the manhattan lip liner i'm going to apply lavish which is i don't know why i was sleeping on lavish i put it on the other day and it looked let me see if I could fish around my pictures and put one up. I was like really loving it, man. Next up, we have, what is this shade? McGrath Muse. Here is the packaging design, and I love it. It's almost like the model lips has alien gelic on it, and they just did like a flash across her lips, and they picked up those sparkles in the, in the lip gloss. Oh, I'm not getting rid of these boxes, man. And I know I've mentioned before that keeping boxes is stupid, but when they're this beautiful, it's something to consider. Did not throw away, you know what I'm Saying? McGrath Muse is a warm red. Now, just so you know, Paradise Garage is sold out, and that's a vivid orange, and I think everyone loves a vivid orange red. But I went for the warm red instead of the major red, which is like a more traditional cool red, because I don't know, just warm reds. I love warm reds too. Love all the reds, you know what I'm saying? Oh, look at that. Look at that color. Mmm, that's pretty. I have my MAC lip liners on standby because I don't have all Pat McGrath lip liners, but I knew I would need them just so that I could clean up a little bit. Just throw around the edges, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking Matte Cherry. I love the warm red. I know the vivid orange would look bomb, but I feel I'm picking up a little orange you're gonna focus on me in this shade as well and i appreciate the tone of it the brightness it still looks red and i feel it's a red that you can still get away with during the holidays uh where traditionally deeper reds maroons metallics in that shade spectrum are considered very holiday but i feel you could get away with this for christmas time valentine's any time during the year for that matter because even though it is warm in nature and i love warm because of my skin tone i just think it's it still looks gorgeous and it looks creamy it looks rich i mean you saw it's like opaque coverage on the first swipe you'll find that in her Lux trans lipsticks i mean i go over just so i could refine the edges and i still have to use a lip liner anyway the coverage on these lipsticks are phenomenal and i feel they are reasonably long lasting for me i speak a lot with my teaching group fitness on a daily basis with the constant talking i feel lipstick has more of a tendency to wear faster wear wear out faster i should say this formula again i feel is lasts for a few hours and every time you reapply it just envelops you with that coverage right away and that moisture if you are feel dead skin starting to develop throughout the day i would just take a tissue and start from scratch so you can wipe away those dead skin bits and you just have a smoother application throughout the day lastly lastly we have the shade pink universe which i love i tried this on the other day and look look at these pink universe lips on this package oh my god as i'm editing this i realized that i did not swatch sorry not sorry and i am so sorry and all puns intended i will make sure to swatch that lipstick the next time i am on video of course it's not going to be in the next video which is featuring the Mel Cosmetics Smoke Sessions palette, but I'll get to it soon, friend. I'm sorry. It's like, does she have a grill on or something? No. Oh, I see. It's like she has gold metallic lip liner on the actual lipstick, and then you see her teeth. Oh, outstanding design. I could love Pat McGrath lipstick boxes. Here we have Pink Universe, and the actual shade description is Deep Cool Magenta. I was looking forward to the cool aspect. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. So opaque. Mmm. Mmm. And for lip liner magenta from MAC. I'm really happy this was cooler in nature because I find with magentas and hot pink, sometimes if they are warm in undertone, they look like another red, whether it's on camera or in person. But I feel because of the cool undertone for this shade, it looks distinctly magenta, which is what I wanted from this lipstick. I feel you can wear this for every day because it's hot pink, like it's magenta, but I feel it's still low-key enough that you can wear on the daily with the right eye. If you feel this is too bright for you, I totally get it, but depending on your skin tone, I think it will determine how vibrant it actually shows in real life. I love this shade. I think it is gorgeous. It's 
pink it's hot it's magenta it has that vibrancy about it that's interesting again full opaque coverage on the first swipe i did swipe back and forth because i mean i just i just love the glide and the feel of that lipstick man you know what i'm saying and then of course what if whatever you pair it with i think it's just gonna make your eyeshadow stand out or whatever look you're going for stand out you got them glitters i got the glitterly obsessed we could just patch that on it's just also, I think, let me see here. I have, um, back when she released her lip, her liquid lipstick, she also released her, the microfine pigment, like pigment. And if you wanted to really zhuzh it up, because this is like a dual chrome type of powder, you could just take some on your finger and it just gives it like an ultraviolet effect on the lip that i think is really fun if you just wanted to add a layer of extra glitz and dual chrome glam then that's what you do man i love my purchases i'm happy i didn't go too crazy i think the total came up to 126 where uh five lipsticks for 38 dollars originally would have been 190 but with the discount you know knocked it down here it says 130 i actually forgot what i paid I'm so stupid. If I could save $60 on Pat McGrath lipsticks, then you know I'm gonna make it happen. I'm happy that I got a beige, I got a pink, I got a plum, I got a mauve, mauvey brown, brown rose, I have a red. So I feel like I hit the full color spectrum. I feel they implement themselves well with the colors I already own. And I also forgot, forgive me, I'm gonna do uh 1995 that is a matte trans formula i know it's different from the luxe trans but if you just wanted to see what it looks like in compare to los angeles hold on tight i am not going to show you what my 1995 looks like because it is very sad so this is 1995 which i feel is like my ideal nude out of all the nudes that i own from pat mcgrath i love 1995 i know again it is matte instead of luxe which is luxe is more satin and matte it's just matte i don't know what it is it's pinky but it's beige it's right in between it doesn't make me look gray on the lip and if i wanted to i could certainly most certainly go in for touch of that and i feel it has the right amount of contrast without being overpowering it's brown but it's warm so it kind of finesses in with that pink from the shade and it doesn't just kind of like hound over it but it has a nice frame to the nude shade just for funsies let's apply let me see i'm gonna apply a little bit of lavish no do i want to apply attitude i'm gonna do attitude on the outside of my lips if I could freaking find it, oh my god. Or maybe, let's just do Los Angeles instead. I don't know if you could really tell a difference, but... All right, friends, those are my purchases from the Black Friday secret private vault sale from Pat McGrath Labs. I hope you found these swatches helpful. If you have any of these shades at home or you don't and just needed to see what was what, I know I don't have all the shades, but hopefully the ones that I did purchase and that I do own helping you if you can get to a Sephora or anywhere you could swatch these lipsticks live, that perhaps also if you're around my skin tone, that these will kind of help you decide what shade you're looking to purchase. And that, my friends, is a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until then, I'll see you on here again with another tutorial, demo, chit chat, or review. Take care and I'll see you again soon.